make my way to the tubby. I find a little fella who's cute and yellow and chubby. Rubber duck dubby, rubber ducky, you're so fine. Mayor. Hey, Mary. Mary, would you mind closing the door? I couldn't hear you. Were you talking to me? I don't mean to begrudge little John his bath or his song, but, but would you mind closing oh. the door? It's hard to concentrate. Oh, honey, yes, I'm sorry. I got carried away. He actually stopped crying when I started to sing. Well, I mean, what's to cry about? Sitting in a nice hot tub with his rubber ducky and uh, his bubble bath and you to scrub his back and sing him a song. I mean, the kid's not stupid. Mm -hmm. I'll do the same for you sometime. Mm -hmm. How's it going? Slowly. Jack, I really am sorry I got you into this, okay? You asked me if, uh, if we could take uh, little John for a couple of days, I agreed. Neither one of us knew that I was going to get this assignment. The thing is, Mother never complained, never. So she admitted her back hurt, that means it was really awful. And there was Dee all wrapped up in her own misery, not about to lift a finger to take care of herself or the baby. And trying to clear away all the wreckage of the campaign... Mary, 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 hmm, shush, huh? Obviously, Maeve, with a bad back, shouldn't be responsible for her grandson. I understand perfectly why you felt you had to get him out of the house, okay? Only question is, does he, does he really belong here? Oh, honey, I'm sure it's gonna be all right. I'll close the door while I dry him off, and I'll play with him in there for a while, and then I'll put him to sleep in our bed. When you're ready to turn in, I'll make him a pallet on the floor. Tomorrow morning, we'll figure out what to do next. My, uh, my type ain't gonna uh, bother him. Oh, I don't think so, really. You get used to it after a while. It's like rain on the roof. Look, Mary, I, I, uh, I really gotta get a good start on this tonight. I mean, otherwise, tomorrow I'm gonna feel crowded, and then I'm gonna start to get mean, and. I'll probably take it out on you, and then we'll have another fight, and I don't want that. Well, then maybe we should arrange things so you can get lots of work done tonight, huh? I, uh, I think somebody's uh, trying to get your attention. Somebody is probably exhausted. I'm gonna get him out of there and put him in his pajamas, and he'll be asleep inside of two minutes. Sleepy to me. You have no life, so you had to steal mine? It's not just who finds out first. Oh my God, you're fake. It's what he plans to do about it. Watch All My Children, weekdays on ABC, and weeknights at 8 on SoapNet. We asked Bradford Anderson to name all the Spinelli nicknames he could remember. Go. Stone Cold Mr. Serpicino esque one, uh, Maximista, blonde one, original blonde one, Prince Pectoral, Big Daddy Stone Cold, the goddess, the divine one, Bad blonde one, the demented one. Oh, um, the Valkyrie, um, the Brusque Lady of Justice. I could be here for literally three days, probably. See who Spinelli will nickname next on General Hospital. Weekdays on ABC and weeknights at 10 on SoapNet. Amy, you're gonna love college. Best seven years of my life. I know, Dad. Comforter. Okay. Mr. Cuddles. Toilet paper. Oh, he's got. Here. It's got extra soft tissue. It's her softest roll ever. Check out the pattern. It's softness done right. Same soft rolls we use at home, honey. One more thing, guys. Oh, nice, a shoe rack. Actually, it's a toilet paper rack. Sweet. Do you know, Scott? Scott Extra Soft is softness done right.
There's a place called Hidden Valley, where kids not only eat their vegetables, they can't get enough. Hidden Valley Ranch makes vegetables delectable. There's more from Hidden Valley than just ranch flavor. There's farmhouse originals with flavors like blue cheese, southwest chipotle, and creamy balsamic. Farmhouse originals give this valley a whole new flavor. What if one little pop could open a world of wonder? So sensory, so satisfying. The discovery never seems to stop. It's the magic this is as simple as one, two, three. Eat right, be active, and try my new Smart Weight Loss formula. I lost 23 pounds. The Smart Way. I lost 30 pounds. It really works. Say yes to my Smart Weight Loss. The smarter way to lose weight. Your assignment? Catch the boldest lashes. But lose the ball. New one by one mascara from Maybelline New York. Our lash catcher captures, coats, and declumps for bolder, flirtier lashes without the bow. One by one. New for Maybelline. is definitely the way to end the day. Uh, almost. <laughs> I brought a picnic for old time's oh, sake. No machine now. Um, corned beef on a roll with mustard with extra pickles, uh, <laughs> shrimp salad with uh, almond cookies. Mwah. You got it. Uh, <laughs> I didn't have any dinner either. Mm. But you want to know something? Mm? I surprised myself, but I felt a little uncomfortable going into the deli. Oh, why? Well, I think we have to assume that everybody in the neighborhood has either read Martha McKee's story or heard about it. I'm afraid you are right. And for the last three years, either you and I have gone into Mrs. Greenberg's deli, asked for two corned beef sandwiches, extra pickles, shrimp salad, and two almond cookies. That's right, we've had. So, when I went in there and asked for this, I just knew that she knew it was for us. Did she say anything? Oh, no. No, of course not. She wouldn't say anything, and she'd never say anything to anybody else either. You know what she once told me? That she thinks of you as her nephew. <laughs> and you know that she once told me that I had the most beautiful law professor in all of Riverside, if not all of every part. <laughs> Do you suppose that she knew about us all along? If she did, she uh, certainly had our best interest at heart. You know... I didn't go in there at all last winter. It was just too painful. I know. Just brought back all those memories of all the other dinners like this, at your desk, late at night, after a campaign meeting, or those spring evenings after class when we go and sit in the park. Or go back to your apartment. You know, some people associate the great love of their life with the scent of roses and $75 an ounce perfume. For me, it's Norma Greenberg's corned beef and pickles. Uh, oh, Frank, this is so good. It's just so good. Yes. And soon we'll be able to be with each other in the mornings, in the evenings, and every single moment in between. Frank, I want to be very careful about that. Because then we'll be together sooner. I mean, I don't want to give Dee any ammunition to use in court. I mean, in terms of custody of little John or in terms of the divorce. I know. I know. You know, that's why I, I just can't let you come back to my place tonight. I understand. In the beginning, it was my marriage. Then it was the campaign for city council. Then it was another effort with Delia for little John's sake. And then it was the congressional campaign. I'm now maintaining my position in divorce action. Will there ever come a time when we can just be together? Yes. I love you. I could go on and on about that forever. <laughs> so come on, tell me how your day was. 
You know, that's one of the things that I've missed. I mean, not knowing. I mean, having to imagine where you've been, what you've been up to. Okay. Well, between the regular council meetings and the General Welfare Committee meeting, I spent some time figuring out how much I owe the campaign. Frank, that's not your debt. Well, I'm afraid it is. I can't leave the party with them holding that much money. That's just like you. They invested in me, so in one sense, I, I let them down. You didn't. Yes, I did. Well, anyway, I'm responsible for the bills. How much? A little in excess of 30000 Oh, boy. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you something. I'm glad this all happened when it did. I mean, and the, the congressional campaign didn't progress any further. Yeah, well, uh, every cloud has its silver lining. <laughs> Hank, listen, how much have you raised? Well, so far, we've got together about 20,000. That leaves me about 10,000. I, I figure I can get it together by sometime next year. In time for the next election? I don't think so. Jill, listen to me and believe this. I think a life with you and little John with peace and order and loving each other and good work and community law sounds so much better to me now than Congress ever did. Really, Frank? Yes, my darling, it does. And I think I was a fool not to realize it before. Oh, I hope so. I hope so. I love you so much. And I want you to have whatever you want. All I want is you. Excuse me. How long can he keep this up? I don't know. Beginning to think he's doing it on purpose. Oh, he's so tired, he's hysterical. Well, he's not the only one. Hi, I think maybe the light's keeping him awake. Well, I can't put it out, because I never learned how to touch tight. I wasn't asking you to. I was making an observation. Maybe he'd like me to put my typewriter in the bathroom. Could you? No! Well, honey, he's never going to go to sleep as long as you keep on shouting. Yeah, well, I have to keep on shouting so you'll hear me. This was really one of your less brilliant ideas, Mary. I know it, and I'm sorry, but he's here now, and I can't make him disappear, can I? Well, I could. What'd you say? Never mind. I'll take him for a walk. You can't go walking down by the waterfront by yourself at this hour. I won't be by myself. I'll have little John with me. He'll get arrested for disturbing the peace. Well, then I'll take him home and babysit with him up there. That's what I should have done in the first place. No, no. I'm not going to have Johnny Ryan saying that I put his grandson out in the middle of the night, and that's just what Johnny Ryan would say, and I'd never live it down. Then I will take him to a hotel. I don't want you in a hotel. I want you here. Will you stop yelling, Jack? Make him stop. Here, you stay right here. I've got to talk to your Uncle Jack. Jack, please, let me do something practical. This is a nightmare. OK, OK, OK. I'll tell you what. We'll put out the light, and then uh, we'll all go Betty by, and I'll get up at four and try again. If that's what you really want, but I think it'd be better if we... Oh, poor baby! I should have kept an eye on you. What are you doing? Yeah. Oh. Is he all right? Are you all right, little John? He's fine. Uh-huh. Yes, he's
this week. He's not dead. He's alive. Our lives, if we know it, is over now. I have a daughter. Star. Where was my wife? After eight long years, the original Todd Manning escapes, and he's ready to take his life back. Watch One Life to Live, weekdays on ABC, and weeknights at 9 on SoapNet. I joined Match because a friend of mine, my cousin, uncle, my sister, met her husband, met his wife, met her new fiance on Match.com. Match.com. More dates, more relationships, and more marriages than any other site. I figured, why not me? Hey. Start for free today. Thursday. Finally. Dinner with the girls tonight. I really want dessert. I better skip breakfast. Yep, this is all I need. Why skip breakfast? When you can start your morning with new Special K Multigrain Oats and Honey. A whole new blend of rolled oats and honey-kissed multigrain flakes. It's a delicious way to get your whole grains and make your breakfast beautiful. With Ben Gay Pain Relief Plus Massage, you can do this. Get the back, girl. Mm, you can't do that. But you can do this. Bengay Pain Relief Plus Massage with penetrating nubs plus the powerful pain relief of Bengay. Love the nubs. Want more of your favorite soaps? That's great. Log on to abc.com slash daytime. Watch current full episodes of All My Children, General Hospital, and One Life to Live. Online critics love it. Plus, get exclusive sneak peeks of what's coming up next. Sounds like a thumbs up to me. Connect with other fans to discuss what's on your mind. I always want to hear what you have to say. And check out the 101 galleries to get an intimate look at the history of your favorite characters. That's the best news I've heard all day. Find it all now at abc.com slash daytime. Just couldn't wait, could you? Frank's whole future is ruined because of you. 24 hours later, I find the two of you together. Jill wasn't responsible for what happened last night, Meaning Julia. I was, right? Look, I'm not interested in pursuing this particular point. What are you doing here, anyway? They told me that you would be by your office after the meeting. And I wanted to talk about some arrangements about your son. What kind of arrangements? Maeve had her back. And she can barely move, and I got so upset that I gave the baby to Mary to take downtown to Jack's apartment. What happened to Mom's back? She bent down, and she couldn't straighten up again. Bucky says it's not a disc. She'll be all right. She's just hurt a little bit. Look, I came here to discuss my son, and I have to find the two of you in here. That's the story of our marriage, isn't it? Not really, Delia. Uh, Jill, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, could you, uh, you leave us alone for a while? Yes, of course. I'll, uh, I'll call you later, okay? Can you stand there and say that to her in front of me? No, no I don't want Didi, you to discuss anything. I want you to answer that question. What? Don't you care anything about my feelings? You live with me, and you love me, and we had a child. Frank, I'm your wife. Dee. Oh. Dee, I'm filing for divorce. What? You should get yourself a lawyer right away. There's several people I can recommend if you'd like. Uh, you can call the Bar Association if you'd prefer that. No. No, you can't. Yes, yes, Delia, I can. And that, you should know that I have sufficient grounds to make the whole proceeding fairly simple. No, I don't believe that. You know, I can stop you if I want to. No, you and Jill can't do that. I'm not going to begin a legal argument with you, Deity. Get yourself a good lawyer and let me know who it is. No, no, you wouldn't do that, Frank. You don't believe in divorce. I believe even less in what we've called a marriage. No, but see, it wouldn't do you any good. You can't marry Jill, you understand me? Jill once said to me, Frank Ryan is married once and he's going to stay married to you. Now, she said that to me. It's over, Delia. We don't have a marriage. We pretended for a long time. We've tried, but we failed. I never pretended. I never pretended, and you never tried. Shh, Dee. I hope when you have a chance to think about this and get used to it, you'll agree that it's the best possible solution. It's not the best thing for our son. How could it be better for him to be without his father? He won't. Tell me with Johnny that, did you? You know how they feel, Dee. What, what do they say? They don't want me there anymore? Will you stop that now? You know perfectly well 
that Mother doesn't believe in divorce and even less in remarriage. Dad doesn't believe it's an acceptable solution for Orion. You know that. No, it isn't. Really, it isn't for us, Frank. Please. For your own sake, listen to what I've been telling you and believe it, huh? I'm divorcing you on the grounds of admitted adultery with Roger Coleridge. Right, but the real problem goes way beyond that. The marriage was a mistake in the beginning and a disaster at the end. And I'm not sure it's me you want to hang on to anyway. I love you. I oh, love Delia, you. Oh, Delia, please. You need me. Or you think you do. But it's the family you really want. I think it's the family you've always wanted. You're going to take the family away from me also, aren't you? You're going to divorce me. You're going to divorce me and then I'll lose everything that I've got. Do I deserve this, Frank, if I've been that bad? I don't believe that you're, you're bad, Delia. Then why are you punishing me? This isn't fair. Fair, of course, meaning whatever Delia wants. You're going to be very sorry. Well, I am sorry, Delia. No. No, you'll see. You think you can get rid of me? You can make me disappear and then you can run off with Jill? Well, you're wrong about that. And more than that, Frank, I'll make you so sorry that you ever tried. some time in Genoa City with the Young and the Restless. Later, see who's stirring up trouble in Pine Valley on All My Children. Only on SoapNet. Thank you for your vote of confidence. He was hired to protect her family. I think I want to go out today. Sounds great. Okay. This week. You punish your ex for moving on with her life? I'm not having it. Does Carly have a new lover? She's still my wife, you know. Watch General Hospital weekdays on ABC and weeknights at 10 on SoapNet. This week on all new jam-packed views, she's back on track in reality TV, the world according to Paris Hilton. Also, funny man Chris Rock's new gig that we can't even mention on TV, and Sherry's good friend Niecy Nash. This week on all new views on ABC. Shutter everything you know about Shine. New color sensational High Shine from Maybelline New York. Our first High Shine color in a stick. Now pigments are micro illuminated. Honey nectar creates our most luxurious feel. New High Shine. Only from Maybelline. Losing weight is as simple as one, two, three. Eat right, be active, and try my new Smart Weight Loss formula. I lost 23 pounds the Smart Way. I lost 31 pounds. It really works. Start now. Get my Smart Weight Loss starter kit with a free how-to DVD. Amy, you're gonna love college. Comforter, okay. Mr. Cuddles. Toilet paper. Oh, he's got. Here, it's got extra soft tissue. Check out the pattern. Same soft rolls we use at home, honey. Do you know, Scott? Scott Extra Soft is softness done right. Only YoPlay Original has twice the calcium of the leading yogurt. That's 50% of the daily value. Pass on the news and make sure you and everyone you know is getting the calcium they need. Who's coming and who's going? SoapNet has the status update on your favorite stars. On General Hospital, Bruce White's is back as gangster Anthony Zakara. At some turn of events. On The Young and the Restless, Emily O'Brien is saying goodbye to Genoa City. Another time? Daytime favorite Tamara Braun is Taylor on Days of Our Lives. Okay, I'll drink to that. And on One Life to Live, Roger Howarth is back in Landview. I have to be with my family. Keep up with the latest status updates on SoapNet. Just stay a little while longer. I'll see you again. Dixie returns to Pine Valley. Watch All My Children weekdays on ABC and weeknights at 8 on SoapNet. This week. He's not dead. He's alive. Our lives, if we know it, is over. Now. I have a daughter. Star. Where was my wife? After eight long years, the original Todd Manning escapes, and he's ready to take his life back. Watch One Life to Live weekdays on ABC and weeknights at 9 on SoapNet. 
here talking about General Hospital's Sean Butler. Patricia Rich posted on Facebook, he is a good-looking bad boy with a good side. I'm really digging this one. Elizabeth Cross agrees. Oh, yes, he is a sexy man. Sookie Williams Ellis adds, I trust my eyes when I look at him, and they like what they see. Judy McCoy says, good choice, GH. And Kathleen Hahn sums it up. So damn hot. People are talking about General Hospital. Weekdays on ABC and weeknights at 10 on SoapNet. in three hours. Maybe you should get up now. He's still prowling around over there. Oh. Are you sure you latched the door to the terrace? Yep. That's why it's a hundred degrees in here. Oh, honey, we didn't dare leave it open. They very thought of little John on the terrace. He doesn't understand about height and the railing is so low and he can climb anything. Jack, don't. Sorry. You're breathing funny. It's not me. It's him. What's he doing? I don't know. I'm afraid to move. He'll know I'm awake. Just be. in the middle of the floor with a bottle in his mouth, looking like he's going to cry again. Be very quiet for a minute. Woodward and Bernstein never have to deal with a thing like this. Who's that? He's prowling. Take another look. I can't see. Should I get out? Wait. This reminds me of Vietnam. You never can tell when he's gonna strike. Incoming! Oh, oh damn it. What is the fascination with my desk? Why don't you go mess up your Aunt Mary's thing? John, what am I gonna do with you? I can make a couple of suggestions, but I don't think they'd be kindly received. Oh, Put them. Put them, put them in a bed. Hmm? Where are you going? Mary, I cannot sleep in a room with a prowling, <laughs> snorting, crying baby. I'm going out in the terrace. Oh, honey, please. Look, I got enough work to do tomorrow. It's impossible for one person to do. Now, don't begrudge me a nap in my own deck chair. Tonight. <laughs> He'll be better in the morning. I hope. In Landview, rules were meant to be broken, and its residents will stop at nothing to get their way. Catch all the Landview shenanigans on an all-new episode of One Life to Live, weeknights at 9 on SoapNet.